Tuesday and time for the weekly channeled oracle reading and this week is for January 26th through February 1st 2015. Hi everyone I'm Tracy and I'm your host for this weekly channeled oracle reading where I connect with my uh, spirit guide White Hawk and I consciously channel him for you right here live so you get to see all the action every week. So I want to welcome you guys. I don't think I feel like I've welcomed the newcomers in, in a while, so I'm very grateful for you to be here and always grateful for my loyal supporters. Thanks very much for that. Sending you that kiss. Keep it or tuck it away for later if you want. All right, before we go go with White Hawk, I have a question. I usually wear glasses, and I've been wearing them for like seven years. That's what happens when you start to get older. <laughs> And so I decided to do a trial with contact lenses, and so I want to get feedback from those people who are contact lens wearers. So if I, if, um, if, and they're multifocal, just so you know, because I wear progressive glasses. Again, a sign of age. Um, if I look just in front of me, like here, so say I'm looking in a mirror and putting on my uh, makeup, I don't see super, super clear as I would with my glasses. So first question would kind of be like, do you, do you see as well with your contacts as you do with your glasses? And uh, also if I move from there down here, like these aren't really meant for reading and the optician told me that. You won't really use this for reading. You'll, you know, I'm not even sure what they're fully for, so that's kind of what I'm getting used to but like I can see it's not like I'm going to be bumping into anything but if I look further like I probably see my best at distance but I wouldn't say like I see f detail the problem is I get sort of like this film that kind of comes over them there's a bit of a blurriness so all I can say is there's not pure pure detail in it all and so I just want to get people's feedback is that what it's like because if that's what it's like then I'll only wear them for special occasions and, uh, you know, maybe some active stuff. Um, or, you know, am I better off just going with a distance uh, prescription contact lens and then wearing glasses for reading? Um, so I'm looking for all kinds of feedback regarding that. I'm also going to visit my optician, but it'd be great if I could get uh, your feedback on that. I'd very much appreciate it. Okay, well, now's the time to go see what this upcoming week does hold. I hope, uh, you know, that it does hold some goodness in us because the last few weeks have been challenging which just so you know as a messenger it's very hard for me to deliver those goods it's not a reflection of me being uh, depressed or anything like that it might be a reflection of where um, we are all as we come here in our in our cycle in our world in our consciousness at this point in time and the world's consciousness as well so it's not a complete reflection of me it's not me that's like you know, a downer and depressed and bringing that information to you. It's White Hawk bringing that information to us uh, based on, you know, nature cycles, based on the um, cosmic cycles, you know, everything from Mercury retrograde to sun flares to um, meteor showers. Those things all affect us here on Earth. And so he helps to keep us aware of that or he makes us aware as to maybe why the waters this this week are very challenging and he might not tell you it's a meteor shower but I assure you if you start going through your news feed and start um, liking pages that are to do with astrology or to do with science or uh, uh, anything like that the universe or anything um, you start seeing the things heck even you know just like johntesh.com and he gets information too and you'll see that there was a meteor shower or that hey you know we're in a new moon right now, like literally. And then we're also in Mer Mercury retrograde right now, literally, right? And so White Hawk's helping us to maneuver through the ebbs and flows of how that energy can affect us, right? New seasonal energies come in and they affect us. Um, also just um, things that are going on in the world, like right now there's a lot of terrorist things going on with ISIS. I ISIS, I can never say it properly, right? And, and so he's helping us maneuver through those ebbs and flows as well. So it's not just me, right? It's just it's the world's consciousness, and he's helping us get up and get through them. So hopefully this is a good week. We could roll those dice psh, and see what we get. That's what it is when I go in and see White Hawk, right? I'm rolling those dice and seeing what White Hawk's going to say because I don't know. 
All right, let's go get White Hawk and see what he has to say. Indeed, little ones. Good morning to you, one and all. He says, I would like to say to you that I, too, feel very challenged when I come here and I have to give you the goods that perhaps are not optimal or within the best light. But at the same time, uh, I do want to help you through perhaps what is a dark time in your, in your world. And so you come here weekly to here, and perhaps there are weeks upon weeks that seem as though it's never going to end. The good news is most times the energy does break, and we move forward from that. And, and much is the same in this upcoming week. You are here and you are saying, well, you know, are we finally moving through it? And the good news is, is that, yes, we will finally move through through it this week but at the beginning of the week um, there will be more of an ebb than there will be a, a lightness of flow and so <laughs> arduousness and challenging will continue forth through the beginning of the week with a lightening up more towards the, the end of the week into the new month of February that we enter which is a blessing, is it not? He says, it's like, thank God, right? <laughs> it, it is a blessing that we're moving into a new month. And just so you know, um, JC, Jesus, um, has arrived. He's letting me know he's around. And so I'll just take a moment and see if there's something he wants to say or if perhaps it's just he's letting us know that he is around. Indeed, he says, I will take a moment if, if you will give me a moment. He says, yes. He says, the rule of this one, he says, is a difficult one indeed, simply because she must come to you and deliver unto you whatever it is that we bequeath upon you. And whether it is good or whether it is bad, she's to bequeath it upon you uncensored for your own divine hearing. And so, please do not be difficult on this one. It is her role to come into the world and to join us together for us to give you the information that is needed, that is required by you to help you move forward in a more fluid fashion, in a more helpful fashion. And so I have come here today, he says, to... Um, bequeath upon this one um, gratitude for her service, her, her delightful service, her tiring service to, to you and to us. And, and so essentially that is all that I have come here for. And when he's saying that to me, or to us, he is on his uh, one knee and he's down and he's holding my hand and, and talking to me while you are all listening as well at the same time. Oh, so, and I say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Bless myself. You may continue, he says, to White Hawk. And White Hawk says, thank you, Father. Yes, he says, so as we were saying this week, will continue to be a little challenging, but then I will find it will open up. And he says, and just to note, children, I know that many of you thought you would arrive in an actual new physical location, but are realizing that the physical location is not changing as much as, as the mental um, location is changing within you. And so I know this is upsetting for perhaps you, no, not upsetting as much as it is, Confusing, he means. But but just know that is where you are meant to be at this point in time. And that by the end of the week, things will seem a lot more clearer to you. There's, it will seem like the path is opening up, that the energy is lightening up. And that once again, you will be able to move forward fluidly. Whereas these past few weeks, you have felt as though there is a tightening in your chest and you can hardly breathe just trying to get through the day with everything that has been occurring and coming to you. 
But by the end of the week, it most definitely will start to lighten up for many. God bless. He says, I am very pleased to be able to share this information with you. God bless. Thank you. Well, there you go. It's always a pleasure to have uh, White Hawk and then to have JC visit. Well, that's just like the cherry on top of the Sunday, isn't it? So those are your words of wisdom for this week. Go forth and do as you wish with them. <laughs> go forth and multiply. <laughs> if you want to multiply, go ahead. <laughs> um, I'm wishing you a delightful week. Uh, you know, I felt the energies have been a little, uh, lots of high pressure, lots of intensity. That's for sure. That's what, that's what I've been feeling in and around, even in my in my own world. Um, but let's pray for peace, you know, with all these attacks that have been happening, all these uh, individual attacks that have been happening. Pray for peace, and that'll raise the vibration. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to listen to the February monthly oracle reading, do, because it's a, a heart-receiving meditation that White Hawk walks us through, and it's absolutely wonderful. So have a listen to that. That'll be very beneficial to opening your heart, ready to re receive some love. And on Monday is our Ask Tracy, and um, it's going to be our last episode. I don't feel it's been as fruitful as I have wanted, so I will try something else. I'm not quite sure what that is yet. Um, I do have the questions in for that, but uh, they are ones I think that will be beneficial for everyone. So please join us on Monday for the last Ask Tracy episode. As always, you know what I'm going to say? I'm very grateful for you guys being here. We shall see you soon. God bless. I'm Tracy for Channeler's Channel. And if you enjoyed what you see here, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe.